strength of concrete. The quality of concrete is judged largely on the strength of that concrete. We all know that concrete is strong in compression but weak in tension. In most of the structural applications, concrete is employed primarily to resist compressive stresses. In the cases of concrete in tension or shear, the compressive strength is frequently used to measure these properties. Thus, we can say that the compressive strength of concrete is used as a qualitative measure for the various properties of hardened concrete. Generally, the strength of concrete is its resistance to rupture. It can be measured in number of ways, such as strength in compression, strength in tension, strength in shear and strength in flexure. These strengths of concretes are calculated by various methods which will be discussed in future videos. When concrete fails under a compressive load the failure is essentially a mixture of crushing and shear failures. However, the mechanics of failure is a complex phenomenon. In general, the concrete in resisting failure generates both cohesion and internal friction. This cohesion and internal friction are related to a single parameter called as water cement ratio. Besides, the strength of concrete is influenced by the following factors, ratio of cement to mixing water, ratio of cement to aggregate, grading, surface texture, shape, strength and stiffness of aggregate particles, and maximum size of aggregate. The water cement ratio primarily affects the strength, whereas other factors indirectly affect the strength of concrete by affecting the water cement ratio. We will discuss each factor one by one in future videos. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. Kindly do like, share, comment your views and finally don't forget to subscribe our channel.